Hey guys, Simon here bringing you more Magic Origin spoilers. Today a lot of great cards have been released, some solid rares and even great uncommons. But the stars of today have to be in the form of these two mythic creatures, Woodland Bellower and Archangel of Tithes. First let's look at Woodland Bellower, which is a 6-5 beast for 4 colorless and double green mana. When he enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a non-legendary green creature with converted mana cost 3 or less and put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. So right out of the gate, I think this card's really good. It gives you the option to fetch whatever creature you want from your deck and within the 3 mana category, there are a lot of good picks out there. He's a pretty heavy hitter himself and getting this guy along with another guy for 6 mana is just good value. So what are some good grabs for this creature? Well personally, my 3 mana pick would have to go to Death Mist Raptor from Dragons of Tarkir. I swear, I can't wait to make a flippy deck with this Bellower and this Raptor, he'll be basically always in play. Another good pick from Magic Origins itself would be Mana Gorger Hydra. You ramp this guy out early and soon, your opponent will have two huge threats to contend with. And that's what's great about Woodland Bellower. He allows you to put two threats on the board while still giving you other options should you need it. Remember, since Woodland Bellower allows you to grab green creatures, I'm pretty sure that means you can grab multicolored creatures so long as they have some green in their cost. So go ahead and try out this new Bounding Crassus Fish Lizard thing, although you'll lose the useful flash, or you could grab the recently spoiled Citadel Castellan, a nice 2-3 Vigilance with Renown 2. Can't complain about that. Overall, I think this is a great mythic and a fun creature. Ramp him out early and your opponent will be in trouble. In a draft environment, if I saw this guy, I would most likely take him almost no questions asked. Moving on, we have the highlight of the releases today, well in my opinion anyway, and that's Archangel of Ties. Ties? Ties. However you say it, this amazing mythic angel. It's a 3-5 flying angel for 1 colorless and triple white mana. As long as it's untapped, creatures can't attack you or planeswalkers you control unless their controller pays 1 colorless mana for each of those attacking creatures. And as long as it's attacking, creatures can't block unless their controller pays 1 colorless for each of those creatures. So yeah, this card is always going to be doing work for you. Let's just look at it with our vanilla glasses for a second. Take away all the bells and whistles, it's still a 3-5 flyer for 4 mana, which is still good. But this isn't a vanilla card, oh no. This card will disrupt your opponent's game all day. As long as this angel is in play, your opponent will have to be making decisions and compromises all the time, putting them in a very awkward position. Do they want to pay the mana and bash in with what they have out? Or would they rather cast a spell or play another creature? If they attack or if they cast anything, Will they even have enough mana to block your heavy hitters next turn? This is what Archangel of Ties does to the flow of the game for your opponent. That on top of being a pretty beefy card with evasion. Now of course this card is susceptible to your opponent's spells, but at least at 5 toughness, it isn't easy to burn down. Let's not forget this card is actually another way to protect your planeswalkers, which we haven't really seen much of in the past. With less creatures coming in to remove its loyalty counters, it's more likely that your Planeswalkers could get off those epic ultimate abilities. Besides wearing a huge target on its back for removal and having an annoying triple white mana cost, it's probably the best value 4 drop to come out of Magic Origins. I'll bet on seeing it in standard play and I'm sure it'll be worth major bucks. So there you go guys, just some of the more mythical Magic Origins spoilers to come out today. Let me know what you guys think of these cards in the comments below. Are you looking forward to pulling either Woodland Bellower or this Archangel? If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and sub to the channel. And as always, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.